You can also identify mineral using specific gravity. So specific gravity compares the density of the mineral to the density of the same amount of water. Water's specific gravity is given a weight of 1. Borax, whose specific gravity is 2, is very light. It's only twice as dense as water. If it has a high specific gravity, like platinum, whose specific gravity is over 20, then it's very heavy, more than 20 times as dense as water is. To find the specific gravity of a mineral sample, you'll first find its volume by seeing how much water it displaces. So if I have a glass of water and it's this high, then when I put my mineral into it, it rises to this much, then the difference is how much volume it took up. Then you're going to take an equal amount of water and measure the mass of the water and the mass of the mineral. You divide the mineral's mass, mineral mass, you divide it by the water's mass, and that's its specific gravity. So if a student has a mineral whose volume is 3 centimeters cubed, he takes 3 centimeters cubed of water and measures the mass of the water and the mass of the mineral. The water's mass is 3 grams and the mineral's mass is 15 grams. So to find the mineral's specific gravity, we take the mineral's weight, mass, excuse me, and we divide it by the water's mass to get 15 divided by 3 is 5 grams is our specific gravity. Easy enough.